Cyanoacrylate superglue fuming is a chemical method for the detection of latent fingerprints on non-porous surfaces such as plastic, glass, rubber, and varnished woods. This method works by the deposition of polymerized cyanoacrylate ester on residues of latent fingerprints. It can be used to develop and detect clear, stable, white-colored fingerprints. Cyanoacrylate fuming is a non-destructive way to develop latent fingerprints where the prints can be lifted multiple times. It can be useful when lifting prints from delicate items or when the prints cannot be lifted using traditional means. Around the same time in the late 1970s, forensic scientists in the UK, Canada, and Japan all independently discovered that superglue could be used for latent fingerprint development. Fingerprints are a valuable piece of evidence because of their uniqueness and can be found on objects present at a crime scene. They can be used to identify the suspect or link them to a crime scene and an object or weapon. Fingerprints are formed by sweat released from pores present on the friction ridge skin of hands and fingers. When the finger touches any surface, the sweat from the pores on the ridges gets deposited in the form of the contours, which creates an impression of the ridge pattern. Since sweat is colorless, the fingers leave a colorless impression that are called latent fingerprints. Cyanoacrylate adhesives are monomeric adhesives and generally set quickly to clear, hard, glassy resins. Polymers of alkyl-2 cyanoacrylates are also known as superglues. Alkyl-2 cyanoacrylate is an acrylate ester which has a triple bonded carbon-nitrogen cyano or nitrile group bonded within an ester. It forms vapors when heated in a sealed chamber which interacts with certain acrine components of latent finger mark residues. The acrylate vapors get polymerized onto the deposited proteins of the latent fingerprint and form into white, stable, and clear print outlines. This hard white polymer is known as polycyanoacrylate. A simple homemade fuming chamber like this can be used to develop cyanoacrylate vapors with a mug warmer. This one is made from a plastic base, thick copper wires, and a clear plastic bag. Something like this can be made fairly easily, or even a glass aquarium or plastic container can be used as a fuming chamber. Objects to be processed are suspended in the chamber and a small amount of liquid cyanoacrylate is heated to around 80 to 100 degrees Celsius to produce efficient vapor. The heating of cyanoacrylate reduces the time required to develop latent fingerprints. Overheating of cyanoacrylate ester should be avoided as it produces toxic hydrogen cyanide if heated above approximately 220 degrees Celsius. A container of water should be placed inside the chamber to provide sufficient humidity for the development of the prints. This is because low humidity causes the appearance of weakly developed prints with poor contrast. The development process should be regularly inspected to avoid overdevelopment. The difference between a commercial fuming chamber and a homemade one is commercial chambers will often have features such as temperature control, proper vapor circulation, humidity control, and automatic removal of cyanoacrylate vapor. Cyanoacrylate fumes are an eye and respiratory tract irritant, so it is important to take all of the necessary safety precautions and have proper ventilation. Latent fingerprints can be developed on non-porous surfaces with the following steps. Place the object with the latent finger mark into the fuming chamber with its surface being exposed. 
Add an aluminum dish onto the warming plate in the chamber and add a few drops of liquid cyanoacrylate into the dish. Turn on the warming plate but leave it unplugged. When the chamber is sealed, plug in the warming plate to start the process. Allow the item to be exposed to the fumes until whitish colored fingerprint patterns appear. You can add a finger mark to the inside of the chamber to give you a good indicator of when the prints are done developing. The cyanoacrylate developed prints may be used as is or further enhanced by dusting with regular or metallic fingerprint powder and or staining procedures. This is to help the prints stand out better for easier and more reliable identification. The same method used in my video on lifting fingerprints with the fingerprint powder can be used to lift prints after cyanoacrylate fuming. That video can be found linked in the description. After a print is lifted, it can be photographed and analyzed to determine if it can be used for a comparison. Analyzing fingerprints left at the scene of a crime can help to connect the crime to a person who may have been present at the scene. It can also be used to track a person's previous records. Thank you for watching. Leave any comments, feedback, or suggestions in the comments section. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to be updated on any new videos.